Megan, you were about to say something when I cut oh, you no. off. I mean, I think I said a lot, and if everyone wants to respond. Now, I just want to make sure that th this side is also represented at the table, which it is, and by all means, I know you wanted to speak, Joy. Well, I was going to talk about the teachers for a second, because I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you don't want me to have a gun. Yeah. a teacher, my aunt is a teacher, and I don't, th th their job is not to be gun wielders. They're supposed well, to be teaching our children. I know. Yesterday, the CNN or wherever it was, both of those things that I thought was very interesting. One of the teachers said, I don't want to be responsible to have to shoot someone. I mean, it's, it's bad to get shot, but to shoot someone, I mean, I don't know if I could live with that. And actually, I think I the teacher you know, who said it, I... I um, I'm, I'm blanking out on her name, but there's a teacher there who is a gun owner who was at Parkland, yes. and she said, you know, I'm, I'm now reconsidering AR-15s. Mm -hmm. We've seen one of, our, one of the biggest Republican donors I know, Al Hoffman. You might yeah. remember him. He raised hundreds of millions for the Republican Party, and um, he said, I'm not giving any more money to anybody who does not support a assault weapons ban. Yeah. And I yeah. think people need to take a stand. Yeah. I think it's time that people... And many and states, states do, by the way. And many and many states do, by the way, including New York, where we're in right now. But I will say this thing about the teachers, I need to emphasize again, President Trump is talking about people with military experience who are comfortable. But do you know that he's talking about training? Do you really think I'm that's practical? Training you know how many schools there are in this country? So I was You're going to have military trained people in every school? I think schools need to be guarded much more than they are now. I think they'd be better security. Well, and I do think we, if you have ROTC statistics? or military experience, no, can I we don't talk have about a problem with can, you arming and having a can gun. Can we talk about in, statistics for a second? Can we talk about facts? Yeah, because we I can think talk facts, about facts matter. Everyone that has done a study. You know what? I'm not sitting here spouting off hubris. I just gave you a ton of facts. Every, every, 39 of Stop, alert. stop, stop. Okay, finish. stop. Can Everybody talk? just stop. Take a breath. Yeah. Everybody just take a breath. I just want to talk. I understand. Everybody wants to talk. Let's just take a breath because all I'm hearing is rah, 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 rah. Yeah. and so we can't hear yeah, anything. You can't talk at the same you time. You can't talk at the same yeah. time. I just want to say something. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, if we look at the facts, if we look at the statistics, everyone that has done the studies in law enforcement, at Harvard, at all the think tanks, they have shown that more guns do not make people safe. Less guns make people safe. Mm. They have shown that that Having guns readily accessible makes not only homicide more likely, suicide is more likely, and shootings by accident is more likely. So when we have the President of the United States advocating more guns, teachers having guns, I wonder where are we as a country that we now no longer look at statistics, we no longer look at studies, and we no longer look at facts. May I speak? We have something? I, I, I was going to say, there is, if you follow the money, more guns is more money for gun manufacturers. So there might be the NRA. I mean, the other thing about the NRA, I never really thought about it until recently, the NRA. And years ago on this show, that we wanted to bring up the NRA, people would say to me, don't talk about them. They go after you. It's scary. I think that that is different now. I think that people are taking on the NRA. And a lot of people in Congress, they, somebody said this morning, if you can't take on the NRA, you're in the wrong job. And I think that that made a lot of sense. Well, now, I respect people who have guns. Let me just say one more thing. I respect people who have guns. I once lived in the woods. People know the story. I was trapped out somewhere in the middle of the woods with two basset yeah. hounds and a baby. My husband went to Tijuana to do his PhD. Don't ask why. <laughs> alone in the woods mm -hmm. and I wanted a handgun. Yeah. I remember saying to friends, why can't I get a gun just in case some weirdo, of course I was reading in cold blood at the time that right. book yeah. right. about these guys coming yeah. in and killing you in the woods. So I understand wanting a gun that you know how to use when you're trapped alone and, and with babies in the woods. I don't understand why hunters and sportsmen need to use military style rifles. That and is completely uh, over my head. Yeah. before and I, I have so much respect for that because I think there's an impression with a lot of people that there are that liberals want to completely remove the Second Amendment entirely no. and I no. think that is also a misnomer that I'm glad that is cleared up yeah, today of course. Okay. as the freak of nature at the table yeah. <laughs> I just want to point out again yeah there is no reason why the NRA 
cannot work with these parents and yeah. students. There is no reason. Because when you say, listen, we're looking at a lot of these school shootings. The kids are coming out of houses with a lot of guns. Mm -hmm. So we want to find a way to work this out. That's what people are trying to do. Less, you can't have guns. But hey, maybe there's too many and we need to take a look at it. So we have to have the conversation. Yes. The NRA has to hear it. They have to hear it. I think it's important. I think everybody at the table wants everybody to have their, the thing, their best life. But my best life can't, be, can't outshine your best life. Yeah. And if your best life says, I need your help with this, or I need your help with this, or I need your help with this, we have to find a way to do it. And that's, that's, yeah. <clears throat> that's that. Okay, so, let's get to that. All right now. Well, I'm glad I got to say something coherent today. <laughs> oh, God. Some days my lips go this way and I don't know what I'm having. <laughs>